welcome back. We're playing some instant team deathmatch. I'm sorry, my lolly is getting in the way, but with you back here. And um, today's topic, I'll tell you in a second. After I finish this freaking lolly. All right, the topic today. I finished my lolly, so it's all good. The topic today is skill match make skill based matchmaking. So SBM, how is that a hit marker? Is not going to be within. Black Ops 3. Yes! Yes! Everyone just celebrate. Everybody just celebrate these very good times. Like, oh my god. Why is skill based, make, skill based matchmaking even a thing? It's been the past three Call of Duties, and basically, what it is, if you guys don't know what skill based matchmaking is, is it's basically like, so you get into a game. And say you're uh, 11th prestige, you play everyone that's higher than you, say if the prestige has got the 15th. You play everybody that's in the 15th prestige, or 13th prestige, or all the prestige above you, and some that are below you. That's what skill based matchmaking is, so it's supposed to make it more fair for the enemy player, and um, make it harder for you to play against people, so you're not playing against noobs all the time. But this just led to a lot of silly things like people started to reverse the boost if you guys don't know what reverse boosting basically means that how is that a hit marker okay get a hit marker and then he kills me but basically what reverse boosting is is when someone keeps killing themselves over and over you guys probably would have seen this someone just exploding themselves over and over at the start of um advanced warfare and that's because they wanted to get a very low KD and then play really bad players and then play against them so then they could get good games because they just couldn't get good games with the people they were playing against because they were too good for them. But yeah, that's what skill based matchmaking brings. Um, so it brings like reverse boosting. Also brings a lot of raging. Now, the amount of times I've raged or like complained about reverse boosting. Like, I've never complained, I think it just got stuck here, yeah, I did. I never complain about reverse boosting, uh, there's no need to, but some people do. Um, also, skill based matchmaking, I don't really complain about, but it's just in the game and it's annoying. The only game that I played uh, prior to this one, and Black Ops 2, and uh, Call of Duty Ghosts that didn't have skill based matchmaking was Black Ops 1, and you can tell. Straight away, not in our days, just because all the people that play Black Ops 1 now are like people that have played it for ages. But you can just tell um, in that game that you can get whoever whoever you want. You can't just go into a game and then you get like really hard people that you don't want to play against. Or I, I just got stuck again. Or you just don't want to verse because you want to have a cool, nice, quick, easy game. But you can't do that because they're skill based matchmaking. You can't just have a quick, easy game of TDM. Like, you can't just hop on, oh yeah, let's play a quick, easy game of TDM. But they're skill based matchmaking, so you're always going to be playing harder people. Alright, but skill based matchmaking isn't. It's really bad. Like, I am so happy that it's not in Black Ops 3. I'm sure a lot of people are. I've heard a lot of YouTubers complain about skill based matchmaking. Especially the pub stompers complain about skill based matchmaking. Because they're trying to get really high game plays, really high scores. And they keep running into people that are really good and try hard and the exact same as them. And they don't want that. Their culture is to play against the weakest players and get really beast gameplays on them. So, like 200 pluses, 100 pluses. That's why you saw less and less. Um, 100 pluses within Advanced Warfare because there was skill based matchmaking and a lot of people were getting into lobbies uh, where they were just playing against harder people. Now, I've seen also a lot of pub stomping YouTubers that have like not uploaded a lot of pub stomping videos and that's because they can't find games. And when I say they can't find games, I mean with harder people. So, just to clear that up, so skill based matchmaking will not be in Black Ops 3. That's basically the only statement I wanted to make within this commentary. Um, I can't really say anything else. There's nothing really else to say um, except for that. You guys get the picture. Uh, it's going to be a way better 
balanced game. I'm having more BO3 videos coming out, so be sure to stay tuned for those. But yeah, just one more time, skill-based matchmaking will not be in Black Ops 3. So that's really good for the community and everyone who plays Call of Duty. I'm sure a lot of people will be enjoying playing the Christmas nudes. Um, you always get Christmas nudes, but I'm sure a lot of people will be very excited to play against a lot of noobs again, um, like we're used to seeing within uh, Black Ops 1 and other games before that one, but not in like Advanced Warfare and stuff. So Black Ops 3, no skill-based matchmaking. Let's go, boys. And as always, guys, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it. And as always, guys, have been with you. I'll see you guys later. Plan with absolutely... Uh, they have all the guns which are joined together and they're absolutely overpowered and they just destroy everyone in the field because they're answering the game. The point three that I'm going to make is in advanced warfare, no one